Hello viewers, this is Sector the Kalik TV and your regular program, Doors of Faith. Today we want to talk about terrorism and the recent attacks of our churches. We heard in the news and then we have been seeing visuals of the many attacks that are going on. Recently, we heard about attack in Sri Lanka, where many Catholic souls were lost. And we have been hearing about four attacks in Burkina Faso. Just last Sunday, a man was arrested in a Catholic church in the north, Woden Gan. Which means that what we have been hearing is now closer to us. And therefore, we want to use this opportunity to teach and also to conscientize, to educate ourselves on the need to be security conscious. And therefore, we want to call Reverend Father Diodoné Kofi Davo, the Executive Secretary of the Department of Social Communication at the National Catholic Secretariat. He will be on the phone and he will speak to us what the church is doing and the many measures that the church has put in place in the recent attacks. Hello, Father. These uh, jihadist attacks or terrorists are gradually closing in on us as well. And there has been some um, security that was this already some three four weeks ago indicating that they are moving from the north towards the west and Ghana is among the countries that they intend to attack or to strike as, as well. So it is a worrying situation. So far not to wait until the the disaster takes place. The church has decided to embark first of all on a sensitization program where all our church members will be informed uh, on what is happening and the need to become more conscious of our security, to become more aware of our environment, to become very vigilant so as to be able to affect any of these uh, possible attacks. So that is the first thing that the church is doing. More education, more sensitization programs on how we can counter this violent extremism in the from the hands or in the hands of the uh, Salafi jihadists. Yeah. Apart from the education, the next level of attention is where the church again intends to train categories of people so as to be able to keep signals and alert the necessary authorities. So there will be training on local there will be training on the on the national level for these identified groups. We are talking about people who offer internal security services to us. We are talking about our pastors. We are talking about some other key people who always come into contact with visitors so that when these people know what they can look out for, they will then alert other members to, to be vigilant and be able to repel any of these uh, attacks in case the people intend to do so. Thank you, Father. Father, please, my next question is. Uh, are you constantly in talk with the, the securities of this country? I mean, the, the security agencies, that are, whether the church is in talk with them as to when they pick their signals uh, concerning these attacks? Yes, um, we, we don't have any contact with the security agencies. Um, we are working based on the information that we have. 
we have uh, received from the National Security uh, Ministry. And in all three, three weeks ago, there was a straightforward meeting with the Minister of National Security. And so that's really at this meeting that we were briefed on what is happening, I mean, very close. We need to be here on a deal, but we're giving what details we need to know. It will be you to know that within two to three months, these attacks, four different attacks took place in Burkina Faso and one kidnap case of the police. Out of these four attacks, three of the churches were Catholic churches and one assembly of God. And it was after this meeting that we have agreed that there is a need to come out with very thick needs for every ordinary member of the church or even the mosque because we are not talking only about it. We are not talking only about Christians. Whatever came out, everybody in Ghana is at risk if we want to talk like that. So it is not from the Cali Bishop Conference that we have just decided to take up this in the past. We are actually working on a program in the National Security Apparatus the okay. Thank you, Father. Uh, Father, recently I read from one of the news outlets that uh, uh, the Bishop of Accra, Most Reverend, uh, that Bishop of Accra, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, has uh, made this pronouncement that the uh, handbags should be banned from the, the church and even the use of uh, backpacks. Uh, should be banned. Uh, I don't know what is your take on that also. Uh, um, sometimes the, the, the report comes out not to actually capture what was said. The, um, the bishop who when the Catholic media traditional Ghana to take a take call on him. And when we all ask what, what the church is doing, he made reference to the actions that have been taken already by one of the parishes in Accra, uh, referring to Christ the King Parish. Because before then, it was already on the news that Christ the King Parish has banned backpack. But he went ahead to inform the media people present there that he, he has contacted the IGP who has offered that they will train people to be to be able to determine what and what they should do. And one of the measures, of course, is going to be that we monitor people who come in carrying items. Because the the mode of operation by these terrorist groups keeps changing. Some kids born in their background. They have been they have been uh, visuals that we have seen. Uh, this is what happened in Sri Lanka. And so we are not giving anything to chance. That is why this came up. It could be a little bit bad. It could, you, know, you see one other people who just went around recently when the old man was actually keeping the thing around his body and he abused his kids when to come out. You know, we are talking about the need to train people who could easily detect these things and to so make sure that. The, the harm that these people will, will, will intend to cause will not take place. It is at the back of this, at the average of the one Okay. Thank you, Father. Father, please, your last words for the many Catholic faithful who are listening to you because uh, with this re recent development, many are seized with fear. And then I want you to assure us and also to allay our fears concerning these attacks. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to say that that we are creating this awareness or this sensitization is not to put fear and panic in anybody, but to let all of us understand that we are all stakeholders in our security. Uh, time and again, there is one common expression among Ghanaians is that we are not security conscious. We take things for granted. And so we are saying that because of this, this um, threat that uh, are in the air that we have heard about, let us all become security conscious. Let us all become 
extra vigilance, better be aware of our environment, and be, be ready to look out for some of these abnormal behaviors so that we are able to address possible disaster. And then the training is, is made to ensure that we don't end up embarrassing genuine people who are coming to send or to worship us. So if we don't approach this well, we can also easily stop others from giving coming to church. Yes. And so it is not to create fear and panic, the security um, uh, big shots have assured us that they are on top of the issues, and we have to do our own work as well. And that is why we are asking that we should all be vigilant and take our security issues uh, more serious than we have done in the past. So thank you, Reverend Father. Uh, viewer, this is Reverend Father Diodone Kofi Davo, the Executive Secretary uh, of the Department of Social Communication at National Catholic Secretariat. Father, we are most welcome and we thank you for your education and thank you for your uh, submissions. We are indeed grateful. And uh, we, we, I know and I believe that many colleagues who are, who are watching have taken a cue from what you have said and therefore we will be security conscious in terms of who comes to church and who leaves the church premises. And then to our ushers and to all of us, we need to be our own security. Thank you, Father. And, 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 and Thank you very much. Thank you to Daddy TV. Thank you to your viewers and your listeners as yeah, well. Yeah, thank you very much. So, my dear friends, today we want to talk about uh, terrorism and the recent attacks that the Catholic Church have been experiencing. When we talk of terrorism, the, the, the word terrorism simply means the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians or group of people in the pursuit of political or religious aims or religious agenda. We have been hearing attacks, suicide bombings, bombings in churches, in the mosques, in the marketplaces, and what have you. And more often than not, we hear group of people who use religion to perpetuate this callous attacks on humanity, all in the name of fighting for God. And today, on the doors of faith, I want us to spend time to reflect about these attacks. The question that we want to ask ourselves is that, are these attacks new to the church? Are these attacks new to the church? Is it that recently that the church is being attacked? History will attest to the fact that the church has constantly come under attacks from various forms or in various forms and shades, right from the era of crusades. And then we have also suffered from many attacks, be it theological attacks from people who taught things other than what the church teaches. And all these are uh, attacks. So these assault attacks that we have been experiencing are not new, are not new. Because even in the Bible, Jesus himself said it, that you are the Peter, I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail over you. So in this, we see that the attacks were really promised that the church will go through some kind of troubling uh, situation and times. And this is one of the times uh, 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 we are experiencing or we are encountering. So these attacks are not new, are not new. But my dear friends, as we have heard from Father about the things that the church, when I talk about the church, I'm talking about the universal church and also the local church, as in the church in Ghana, Catholic church in Ghana, the things that are being put in place to ensure that we live in, in safety and some of the things are, they are trying to sensitize in, and trying to concertize in us to be security conscious because many a times Ghanaians and for that matter people who are like us 
or in this uh, in, in in this part of the world seems to be lax when it comes to security issues we find out of laxity when it comes to security issues and therefore this is the time that we are being concertized we are being uh, asked to be very vigilant especially those in our churches the ushers and all those who have a role to play in who comes into the church and who leaves the church premises whether we should look at the people who come when we suspect anyone with any suspicious uh, uh, outlook we can make a report and that person will be attended to and questioned yes. so, the, so the time has come for us to be security conscious all of us are involved and I, I was happy one father said that again a train is going to be rolled up that people are going to be trained to know about these things concerning our security more importantly those who are ushering people into and uh, into the church and outside the church and also our security men we go to many churches we have security men and what are their roles are they there to only keep the gate or they are there to check or to ensure who enters and who leaves who enters and who leaves so these are things that the church has put in place to enroll and then we are all being called upon to come on board and to help my dear friends today we we did talk about terrorism we did talk about the attacks and how it is affecting the, the our faith uh, we have been assured that the uh, the security couples are on top of issues and then there's no cause for an alarm all that they they want us to do is that we should be our own security men and women we should look out for those who come into the church and those who leave out we leave the church and then we should all try to cooperate and that's what we are being told to do so we there we are our fears are being allayed we should not live in fear and things are well being taken care of it is a sector decali tv your program doors of faith thank you and we want to use this medium also to solicit and appeal for people who are ever ready to come to our aid. We need people to come and support this program so that constantly and regularly we can uh, uh, teach more about the faith and let people know what is happening in terms of the Catholic Church. May God bless us all. Thank you.